Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do just a makeup tutorial. I thought we could just do like a talk through. I leave for LA in the morning, so by the time you're watching this, I'm probably sitting in my hotel room. Um, but I wanted to get a video up for you guys while I was away because I am doing a lot of traveling this week. So I leave for LA on Sunday, I come back Wednesday, I'm home for one day, and then we drive to Miami on Friday because I am having a meetup at the Nick store on Saturday the 19th. So if you live in Miami, Florida, I will be there to see you, so come by. Um, I don't know all the details yet. I think that my meetup is between two and four. I'll put all the details that I know in the bottom bar for you guys. And once I know more details, I will let you guys know via social media, like the exact location and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I figured that we could just do like a little talk through makeup tutorial today. And don't mind this guy, if you watched my last video, my wig video, there was like a huge just blemish on my face, so I had to get it extracted today, so that's why we were left with this. Um, but it's nice and flat now, so that's all that matters. <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump in. You know, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to prep our skin. So I'm still using the same old stuff that I've been using for a really long time. It just works really well for me. So I'm gonna start by moisturizing my skin and I'm gonna use the Tatcha Balanced Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. And I'm just going to let that soak into my skin for a second. Then flowers, but you said you didn't need them. Can I do a mannequin challenge by myself? And the next, I'm gonna go in and moisturize my lips with my Best Sam Lip Mask. If you guys didn't know, I did create this mask. It is my all-time favorite things to hydrate my lips. I slather it on at night so I get a really nice, intense punch of hydration to my lips so when I wake up, they're nice and soft in the morning. But I always use it before I do my makeup, before I wear any kind of lipstick, whether it be matte, just anything. It's always my base product. And you can also wear it all by itself. It gives a really nice pink tint to the lips. We are also running a little bit of a holiday promotion at BDB. We have tons of gift sets available on the site. All gift sets are $50, and for every two sets you buy, you will receive a free makeup brush holder. Because to me, I can never have enough things to put my makeup brushes in. So I hope you guys are feeling the same way. So if you're interested in those, I will link it in the bottom bar for you guys. Okay, so moving on to priming our face. I am using still the YSL Blur Primer. I really like this primer a lot, just how it sits on the skin. I was in a love-hate relationship, if you guys have been following me for a little bit on my channel. Um, I didn't wanna love this primer because it is more on the pricey side, but I've had it a really long time now, and I've only, I mean, I'm maybe halfway through it now because you use such a small amount. It just glides onto the skin, and it makes your makeup look so smooth after you put it on, and I've noticed with other primers Primers that sometimes it can get like like the primer can almost mess up your makeup like if it's too thick of a primer but this is a really smooth primer so I use just a teeny tiny amount and then I just divide it in two and then I use it here on my problematic areas which my pores honestly they're they're getting smaller I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's the pore minimizing moisturizer or what but they definitely don't look as large as they used to to me so we're just gonna put this here I just distribute whatever is left over on my fingers throughout the rest of my face. So for foundation today, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, and I'm using it in the color, I don't have my glasses on, 3-1 Ivory Beige, because your girl hasn't gotten any sun or spray tan in so long. So I'm just going to shake up the foundation to make sure it's properly mixed, and then I'm going to just pour some of this out onto the back of my hand. Oh, no, no. Oh, my. I just poured so much out. I just poured so much out. And then I'm first going to go in and just apply it with a foundation brush all over the face. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I am a all or nothing kind of girl. So it's full coverage or nothing. <laughs> So then once I have the foundation on my skin, I'm gonna go in and blend it out with a damp beauty blender. So he's not as flat as I thought he was, but it's way better than it actually was. So I really like the double wear foundation. I do find that it lasts a really long time, even with my oily skin. And I just had to break away from the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation because I've been using it just way too much. And I don't like when I get like so attached to a foundation because then I just like neglect so many other ones. But I do absolutely love the Double Wear Foundation. I don't know if I've ever talked about it on my channel, but it is bomb.com. It is a little more of a pricey foundation, but I feel like you can splurge on things like foundations and stuff because you can get a lot of wear out of them. What? Neat. 
meat <laughs> just because it keeps getting in our way. Okay, now that we have this really cute hairstyle happening, we can get back to business. So I'm gonna do my brows, and I don't know if I've done my brows recently on camera. I usually just edit them into place. Um, but I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade to do my brows, and I've re re ugh. And I've been really loving it. Um, I don't know, like, I think I just go back and forth. I do still use powder to fill them in, um, but I've been all over the place. Another pomade that I really like is the Benefit Cabral. Um, I'm just out of that currently. <laughs> this hair, though. So I like to underline the brow first to get it going, and then I start not at the front of my brow, but a little behind it, and outline that part, and then fill it in, and then I will work my way to the front. I hope this voiceover sounds okay, because I don't have my mic, I'm actually just sitting in LA. <laughs> so I just like to use short, fast strokes in the front of my brow to ensure that I'm not using too much product in the front, and if you do use a little bit too much product, you can just always go in with the brush and brush it out. And then our brows are done. Well, they're not done. I still have to clean them up. Um, this is just a step that I always, I do honestly try to avoid doing this step because it's just like one added extra step in my makeup routine. But when I don't do it, I just don't feel good about myself. <laughs> That's a joke. But I like to just underline my brows with a little bit of concealer. Um, you can use any concealer. I'm just going to use my Shape Tape today from Tarte. We'll talk about this concealer when I get to it. But oh my god, it's so good. So I just use a really teeny tiny brush and I just pick a little bit up of the concealer and then we're just going to go in and clean up under our new, on bleh. and then we're just going to go in and clean up underneath our brow. I had to unpin it. I just felt like George Washington. So I feel like once I really do that to my brows, it really cleans them up and makes them look sharp. And also you can do it if you are kind of trying to grow your brow hairs out and you don't want to do any tweezing. You can use the concealer to disguise your overgrown brow hairs. And even if you're not growing them out and you're just lazy like I am, it'll just cover them up. Because <laughs> I do my brows myself. I don't, nobody else does my brows. I do them. So now we can move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Metal palette today. Can we just talk about the size of this palette? Like look how large and in charge it is. It's so beautiful. So this is the inside of the palette. You can kind of just see me in my monitor talking. It's kind of like Inception, right? Um, so we're gonna work with this guy today. We're gonna just do like a pretty girly glam. That's like my favorite kind of glam to do. So we're gonna work off these three colors here with ribbon, silk, and fringe. But we're gonna first start with fringe and we're gonna put this all over our crease as our transition color and I just think it's like the most perfect pinky color. So I'm gonna start in the middle of my eye and then just start blending. We're taking this color all in the crease of our eye and I'm just using windshield wiper motions to get that blendage. So I like concentrating a lot of the color here in this inner portion of my eye. And then with a fresh brush, we're gonna go into the color Silk. I'm gonna start by adding this color to the inner corner of my eye first. So we're gonna start right in here and then start to work that outward. Again, we're gonna concentrate this color first in that inner corner and then start to work our way out. And then I'm taking just a small fluffy brush and we're gonna go in to ribbon. And again, we're gonna start in the inner corner of our eye and then start to blend it out. So in the inner corner, I'm kind of doing like little circular motions and then as I get to the middle of the crease, I start doing windshield wiper. Just doing the same things over and over. I'm just packing color on top of each other and I'm starting it the same way in the inner corner and then working it outward. And then for our lid, we're gonna go in with just a flat shader brush and the color Glitz. And we're gonna pack this onto our lid. So I'm just pushing the brush onto my lid to one, prevent fallout, and two, just make sure I get a lot of pigmentation here. So the brush isn't coming off of my lid. I'm just moving it around by pressing it down and it's staying on my lid the entire time. Like I'm not bringing it off of my lid. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the shadow alone for a minute until we put on our mascara and our false lashes. So I'm just gonna prep my lashes first with a little bit of mascara. Why do we gotta make crazy faces? I try so hard to not make a face. It doesn't happen. And for lashes today, I'm going to use these guys from Ardell. These are the Studio FX Ardell Wispy Lashes. They're basically like good old wispies, except these have been customized a little bit, so they have a little bit extra lash in the center to just 
pop them up. And then I just like to push them and like hold them up while they dry so that they're like up there, you know? Okay, so I wanted the lid to be a little more intense, so I'm using the Dose of Colors, I forget what these are called, the Ideal Duo. So it has a cream base up top and then a pigment on the bottom. And I'm using the color Pixie Dust. So I'm just first taking this cream and then I'm applying this right onto my lid. I wish I would have done this first. Try not to knock off your lashes. And then apply the pigment right on top. So now we're going to conceal and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. <gasps> Where was I? Was I under a rock? Was I hiding out? I've had the Shape Tape for a while and I was just like neglecting it because like I said in the beginning, like with foundations and stuff, once you just get hooked on something, you forget about everything else. And I just was hooked on the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. But this Shape Tape though, I, I have no words for how good this is. It's so smooth underneath the eyes. I don't crease with it. It blends out so easily. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It's just like gold, basically. Basically is what it is. And I'm using it in the color light medium. And then I'm gonna first blend it out with a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. So I'm just going to push the concealer into my skin and I drag it, as you can see, up on the sides of my nose. Even though I don't contour my nose, I, this kind of, if you don't want to contour it, this is kind of like a little bit of a trick to make it look smaller. You just bring your concealer all the way over. So you can see that the concealer starts here, but it's all the way pulled to here. So I'm just going to pounce this underneath my eye and then start to fan it out. Bring this up onto our nose. Just pouncing this into the skin. I just take the left over and add it here. And then we'll go in with our damp beauty blender and just continue to blend it out until everything is smooth and seamless. And then to set our concealer, you know I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I just, I can't without it, I really can't. And just use light pressure under here. Try to keep your face relaxed too. I noticed that I squint well, I mean, everybody notices that I squint. <laughs> um, but sometimes I'll squint when I'm doing, like I'm setting it, and then I get those lines underneath. So just try to have a relaxed face when you're setting your under eye concealer and just use very light pressure under here and don't squint. <laughs> so then now we can set the rest of our face before we go in and do our contour because I don't cream contour. I mean, on special occasions, I'll cream contour. But again, I just feel like it's an added step. Um, so I just usually powder contour. So before I do that, I like to go in and set my face with some kind of powder. I use Studio Fix. It's just a powder foundation. So it's just added coverage because like I said, it is all or nothing over here. Um, but if you go, if you use, if you only powder contour like I do and you don't set your makeup beforehand, you might find that you have like tugging happening. It's because your foundation might still be a little bit sticky or tacky, which is stopping your bronzer from going on nice and smooth. So that's why I always set with some kind of powder. So when I go in with my powder contour, I'm doing it right over a powder. So it's going to give me a lot smoother of a line. So I'm gonna start my contour with the Kat Von D palette. This is the Shade and Light palette, and I'm gonna go in with this middle color here, which is Shadow Play. And then for blush today, I'm gonna use this guy from Kat Von D. This is the Shade and Light blush in the color Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Let's open it so there's no glare for you guys. So it's just like a pinky blush, and I'm just going to mix the two colors together. And then if you get a little blush crazy like I do most of the time, you can just take a stippling brush and go over it to kind of knock a little bit of that pigmentation off. I feel like right here, sometimes I get like a little sloppy. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit with some powder. This is that soft velvet loose powder i talked about this in my favorites video and i'm just going to take my beauty blender and dip it into it and then we're just going to put that here just to clean it up a little and then i can put this here just kind of prolong that creasing a little more and now we look like the bearded lady and i'm going to go back into the color silk right here and i'm going to add a little bit more of this 
to our lids, to our crease, I mean. I really look like I have a beard. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go in with that silk color and just an angle brush, and we're gonna add this here on our outer corner. Me and lower like eyeshadow, just we don't get along. We really don't. We'll take a fluffy brush to blend that out a little bit. And then we can add mascara to our lower lashes. All right, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna first start with the Jouer powder highlight and it's in Citrine. And I love this highlight so much. My only complaint is I think that these are such soft highlights that they break really easily. I've seen a lot of them broken on social media and mine is, mine is heading for a break. And I'm so scared because it's such a good highlight so i'm very very gentle and careful with it now because it's just waiting like it is waiting to break on me oh i'm placing it on the highest points of my cheekbone and then i'm just doing like little circular motions to make it come to life and then you can just like start to fan it out and then of course here on the nose and now we can dust off our beard <laughs> i'm just going it to be easy peasy i still just have my best damn lip mask on and over top i'm just going to put this sephora gloss in the color bubblegum So after our gloss is on, this is the completed look. I love it. The lips are just my favorite part of it. They're just super easy. They go with anything. And who doesn't like a cute nude pinky lip? So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.